Hey guys, welcome back to our day. I'm not sure I'm gonna film a whole day today because it is Sunday and I'm fresh from a nap and then I watched the Seahawks game that they played yesterday. Kind of just watched a recorded version of that. And um, it's 4.30, like I said, on a Sunday afternoon and I'm feeling stir crazy. And I'm having a feeling that we're gonna have to go back to the doctor with Ashley tomorrow, which might mess up our plans for tomorrow. What? I know, Abby wants to, we want to go to the zoo. We well, can, no, I'm, the zoo, when are you taking her? I don't know, I have to make we an appointment. Oh, we'll go to the school. She gets to go and check in with her locker. I have um, to my locker combo. Right. So I think she's, we're, that's not messed up. It's just going to the zoo. I have to, it depends on whether I get an appointment first thing in the morning or mid-afternoon. If it's mid-afternoon, I don't know how we're going to make. Anyway, so I digress. So I might add this footage to tomorrow's video with whatever we do. Um, but Abby and I are kind of stir crazy and we got something fun at, where did we go, Marshalls? Marshalls. Yeah, Marshalls, yeah, because I went to TJ Maxx last night. <laughs> but we went to Marshalls yesterday afternoon and we got something fun for the bathroom. And I've been feeling like I need to, to declutter the bathroom and get it more prepped for back to school. So I've got something new and I want to redo the bathroom a little bit. All right, so we got this cute little cart and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. And I also got these little, they're actually like water dish for a cat or a dog or something. It's not focusing on the XO, but so you kind of get the idea. But let me show you what I want to redo in the bathroom. All right, so I'm just gonna say that this is a typical site of the bathroom. Got the irons out. So here's what the soap dish is gonna look like in here. I just don't like soaps being on the countertop or the sink top. And since I've started to try and use Dove soap to wash my face, I do wash my face down here or up in my bathroom. And I don't like it just gooking up the counter and the sink. And then this is normal. Just got our candle and some soap. But then this thing, while I don't mind it and it's worked well, I just, it's just cluttery. And it just is kind of driving me nuts. And guess use this bathroom and anyway but I also kind of have another purpose for this big box I actually made this I don't know like a year or two ago and I actually want to try and use it in a different way and I'll show you how I want to use it if it works so what I'm going to do is take all of this out and then we're going to take out this chair down here and the box with magazines and we're going to put that cart here in this corner and I think it'll be easy. And then if I'm doing Ashley's hair or something, I can actually wheel the cart out into the table area if I'm doing it out there. So let me sing for you Like the birds in the mountains do Like a child who cries for you Cries for you So let me sing for you About the streets and the avenues There's nothing I'd rather do Rather do you the end result we still have a mess that I'll show you I always show you the behind the scenes I'm not gonna lie about how hard this is but Abby just put all my chapbooks in order because they're gonna go into that box all right so Abby's got all 48 of my chapbooks right Abby actually that's 50 because there's two that don't have numbers on them oh really so it's 50 so Abby has put them all in order Look how cute this is going to be. They literally fit perfectly. Yeah, they do. It's like I made that box just for this. That's going to be so cute, Abby. Thank you for putting those in order. All right, so here's the behind the scenes. That's the trash pile. That's the trash pile and the sweeping pile. This is the all to go upstairs pile. These are all like from the dentist. Every single time we come, they give us like 10 of these each kid. And they just pile up. Uh, what, Abby, I found your... Mascara. It helps to clean out the bathroom. 
So the mascara I got last night, if you watched last night, is actually brown black. So my super blonde eyelashes, it barely shows up. And one more view of the reality of doing a cleaning project. That needs to be put away by Ashley. This is where some of the chapbooks were. This is like for ironing rods. It kind of like, you know, secures to the counter and I used to use that for brushes, so I don't need that anymore. All right, so I don't have a huge corner to, to display stuff, but I have a jar with that flower in it and the candle just kind of tucked in here along with this bowl more so that they don't get messed with. I just kind of want those to stay there. And then we have the soap dispenser. I was gonna put the soap over there and kind of switch the places, but I actually can't reach the soap when it's clear over there. So it has to stay right there. All right, so now the countertop is all cleared off. I don't know if I'm gonna maybe put a sign or a vase in the corner or something, but I like it having it clean for right now. And then down in the corner, I usually just keep a box and a package of pads and tampons this is a house of girls so I actually just reuse this bin that I have the magazines in and I think it just perfectly slides right back in that corner so that it's there but then kind of contained all right so here is the little stand here in the corner of the bathroom I could either do it kind of at an angle like this or I can actually just turn it and have it be flush with the wall. But I don't think that looks as good. The aesthetic in me wants it to be straight, but the decorator in me wants it to be kind of curved and it's not in the way in any way. So up here on the top shelf, I have a jar of toothbrushes and toothpaste, a jar of just ponytails for Ashley's hair. Even though it's short, I do tend to pull it back sometimes. And then this jar just has the ponytails for us older kids and a few of these clips. These are just kind of left over. I don't have too many left. This jar right here is going to have more scrunchies in it. Abby has a lot of scrunchies and I've gotten a few, but I, when I find them around the house, I tend to just like put them in my pockets and then I needed a place to put them. So I'm just going to bring them here and then Abby can kind of sort through them. This jar here, I want to keep open because we have a lot of brushes. I only have one in the bathroom right now, but I know we've got more. So I want to keep a big bin here open for when we find the brushes and then they're not in the way and the hair is not dangling out either because that's kind of gross for guests. And then hopefully I don't need these for very much longer, but I just have that in there. That's all that's in this bucket right now. In this jar back here, I just have those little clips for when I do my hair curl. I don't want to tuck them away too far because I will do that semi-often. So back here I have Ashley's curly Q clips that I kind of collected when I worked at Chimboree. She doesn't use those as often but I don't want to give them away yet. And then we've got a water bottle. Down here on the second shelf I've got my Michelle Obama book. I want to try and read that a little bit more when I'm going to the bathroom. And then I have a little comedy book down there. And then the magazines that we collect from the mail. And down on the bottom shelf, I have toilet paper. We always kind of get stuck in this bathroom without toilet paper. So I've got that all stocked up. All right, also as an overview, I do have these shelves up here on the walls. I haven't done anything with them. They tend to get little trinkets added to them for the holidays. That's the room all done up. And one more time for this corner. All right, so that's it for right now, you guys. Abby is actually color coordinating all of Ashley's bows. <laughs> Her and Abby love to do rainbow order whenever they possibly can. So that's all I'm gonna do today. It is dinner time. I'm gonna clean up this mess that I've made. Um, Jason's on a run. I gotta put this little box of chapbooks books away on the shelf. I'll show you that tomorrow. But come back, well, we'll just continue this video with tomorrow and we'll just kind of wrap it all into one day. Um, mm. Unless this one turned out too long, but I don't think it did. I think we'll just wrap it into tomorrow. I just wanted to get this declutter kind of done and checked off my list. We can kind of have fun tomorrow instead of having to clean. So I'll be right back tomorrow. Right. Welcome back to a Ashley, you have your shoe on. <laughs> she does have her shoe on. Welcome back, you guys. 
So we are headed over to middle school. middle school. Right, Ashley? Abby just forgot. <laughs> Actually, I forgot. It's my fault. I'm not going to put any blame on Abby. I now have kids in three different schools. And as many times as I have gone through every single email, every single schedule, every single appointment, date, all that kind of stuff, I put everything in the calendar. Maybe, the, maybe I've never talked about this. I actually put things on the calendar the second I'm at a doctor's office, the second I see an email, I put things on the calendar. I set two alerts. I set one alert for about an hour or two before the appointment or whatever the case may be, depending on how wet ready we need to be. Um, if it's a bigger event, I need to get you know makeup and hair and all that kind of stuff done. I'll set an appointment before two hours before oh, I'll set an alarm before I think I'm saying it wrong Abby just pointed that out um, and as many times as I read through all these emails it got caught on something sorry the garage door did it go down? is it shutting out? looks like it got us yeah? okay I think it just got caught on something I set alarms for an hour or two before, and I set alarms for a day before if we need to prep the night before. And as many times as I read through all of these emails for all three different schools, for all three back to school appointments, I literally missed, well, and they didn't give a description. No, they didn't. It's and I can't say, well, we can't say, it's their school mascot. They said, say it's like Cougar Day. It's not their mascot, but I'm like, I don't know what Cougar Day is, even though I've had kids in that school for three years now. Well, that's literally not what they called it last year. So no, and so literally that was the only day that they had assigned. There are two days. Well, yeah, two days assigned to go and get their locker assignment. It didn't say anything about locker assignment. So we contacted our friend who is actually now the principal of their school. <coughs> and she's like, just come in anytime. In fact, Abby, you should text her and ask if she wants a cold drink. Ask here, I've got my phone right here. I told her the day we came, we would go and get her a cold drink on our way over. So she said, just come in. It doesn't really matter. You can hand out locker assignments any day. The office is open. So we're gonna head over to the middle school. I wanna go to the zoo. I don't know. What do you think, Abby? Do you still wanna go to the zoo? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just feeling lazy. I don't know. Ashley, are you having a good day? So, she had a fever off oh. and on. I know, my seatbelt's not on. I'll hold that for a second. You wanna hold that for a second? Thank you. So, Ashley had a fever, like very mild fever, twice yesterday. Um, we went to church, everything was fine. Um, but in the afternoon, her fever got up to 99.1, so I gave her some more medicine, and she's just still not acting like herself. And I don't think the antibiotics are fully killing whatever infection is going on. Um, and I don't know if I talked about this from her doctor's appointment, but the doctor found that her lymph nodes were really, really swollen, like rock hard swollen. And she said that I needed to keep an eye on that because there might be more of an infection than we know. And so, as of yesterday, they were still swollen. I could still feel them. They were still hard. Not as big as they were before. So, my sister-in-law is actually a nurse practitioner, so I hailed her down from after church. And she came over and, well, just while we were at our cars. And she just felt Ashley's throat and told her that there was still like very mild fevers when you shouldn't have a fever if you've been taking antibiotics for five days. So she said, I need you to listen to your mother's intuition and try and make an appointment. My battery just died. Gotta go back and get a battery. Well, Abby doesn't want me to. <laughs> all right, we will go get all this stuff taken care of. If my battery dies, We'll see you in just a minute. Now 
All right, so here's Abby's locker. We're not gonna give away your com. I don't care. <laughs> okay. She has a bottom locker again. Hey, Ashley, the tradition is we lock someone in there to make sure that they know how to do their locker com. Get in. You wanna get in? <coughs> do you dare? Get in. She came just to get in. She's <laughs> All right. Is Abby going to be able to get you out, or are we going to have to call maintenance? <laughs> Make sure your fingers are out of the way. Don't put your hands on this. Oh, dear. Oh, she did it wrong, Ash. I passed the last one. <laughs> this is making me a little nervous. I passed it again. Oh, Ashley. <laughs> Abby, you gotta get her out of there. Oh, darn it. You had to get out. I wanted to get out. I know. All right, so we've been home for a little while and this is the second one that I have. I'm gonna admit, this is my first one. I only bought two because I had the intention of getting one for my friend at the school. She's the principal. She's really stressed. Um, I'm trying to find chapstick. But um, right when I ordered it for her, pulled out, she texted me back and she's like, oh man, I just opened a Diet Coke. So <laughs> I had two. Um, so I'm going to go and take Ashley back to the doctors. I just, I talked to my dad and if I had already, I don't know, if I had talked to my dad first, then I probably wouldn't have scheduled an appointment, but I'd already scheduled an appointment. Um, my dad is a pediatrician, by the way. So he's like, him and my mom are always like my go-to. Um, but I don't like that she had a fever yesterday, even though it was really light mild I, I don't know how you say it but um I do want to but my dad said he's like you don't necessarily need to take her in because that those lymph nodes that are kind of swollen they take quite a while a couple weeks to kind of go down and um so he's like you don't need to take her in necessarily except that he said that he likes when moms or dads bring their kids back in after infections to make sure that it's gone away and he said normally I like to have them come in like two or three weeks after I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming this is why I'm coming no you're not shut the door I'm coming <laughs> she won't shut the door I'm coming she's sitting right there making sure anyway um, so it's a, it's a little early to like, you know, have her ears rechecked, but at the same time, um, he said it, it can't hurt. So I'm going to go ahead and take her in, but we're going about an hour, two hours before the appointment to go to Walmart because I need to get some really cheap sheets. Can't say that really quick or else it'll come out wrong. <laughs> and they sell like $5 sheets at Walmart. Kaylee, we're going. Kaylee? I swear she just came down. I just heard her. Um, the bed spreads are actually going to be here probably any minute. In fact, I just got a text message. It would not surprise me if it was the shipping alert that it was dropped off. So, my kids, I think I've said this before, I put that in. They do not like sheets. And so, I'm, yeah, they don't like sleeping with them. But the way the mattresses are right now, or the way they're going to be, they need to have a sheet on them just because we don't like it under no sheets. <sighs> Chelsea and Ashley want them under me and Kaylee will. Yeah, so I'm going to try and see if they'll get more used to using the sheets. Um, I'm used to them. Yeah? I had to. Okay. I had to. Okay. It'll be better. Oh, here's Chelsea. That's who came in. All right. Let me go and we're going to go to Walmart and maybe Old Navy. And now I have to figure out if Chelsea's coming with me. So, all right, as much as I don't necessarily like Walmart, this is the time of year where you can find these super cheap deals. These are the type of shorts that I got last year. These ones are $3. But this is when I found those shorts last year for $1. Like I found cute shorts like this one. This is a really big size. 
but um, for a dollar, you guys. I'm kind of just sorting through. These are five. Anyway, but this is the time of year where you kind of sort through it because if you're gonna buy something for a dollar for next year, like why not, right? Plus, look at this dress. We saw, like I love this yellow one. We saw this one right here for Abby. It's really, really cute, but they don't have her size, I don't think. Oh, there's some up there, so. But I really like this yellow one. This is really cute. So they do have this one in Abby's size. Let's see if she wants to get it. It's a really cute fall one. It's really fun. I love the sleeve right here. You just are tired, huh? Always tired. This is why we want to just have you checked out at the doctor, okay? That kind of helps, doesn't it? Found a little snack in my purse. Also, that dress did not work on Abby. <laughs> it was like, no. I, it, wasn't, it wasn't even like she didn't like it and I did and got to try and convince her. It was like, no, that's not gonna work. All right, so we just ran to Ulta because I had, ooh, I need better light. All right, so we just, oh, she wants, you can go into, you can go into Old Navy. She wants to go into Old Navy really bad. So I had a $10 coupon for Ulta and there was only a minimum purchase of $10. So really I could have walked out there with something for free, but I found this really fun palette. And it's by BH Cosmetics and it's hanging in Hawaii. And the names of the colors are super color, super fun. It's like Oahu and, and uh, oh, I can't remember the different names. I'll have to show it to you when I, Abby wants to go into Old Navy really quick. So but I'll have to show this to you later. All right, so we just went to the doctor. Everything's fine. We're kind of thinking it's just this leftover virus that she had first. And the ear infection is cleared up, which I wanted to have checked. So now we get to go into school and get all the germs all over again. So, but the doctor agreed. She's like, it's better to check the fever with the ear infection, make sure that the ear is completely cleared up because they don't like to have the fever come back with the antibiotics in their system already. So I love how they yank on the door handle when I haven't even put the keys in the car. All right, so we're just gonna go home. We are done running errands. We didn't get anything fancy at Walmart except for their sheets. We stocked up on pasta and pasta sauce. What else did we get? Yogurt, not yogurt. Cream cheese, sour cream, bagels. Um, so not a huge grocery haul necessarily, but I'm kind of sick of not having some of the staple items. So I think we'll have pasta for dinner tonight because that's super easy. Does it sound good, like Alfredo? Yeah? All right, so I have, I don't think I have anything else today. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Okay, buckle up, boo. And they just said she's just gonna keep being tired for a couple more days. Um, I hope not too long, because we now have at least one beach party and a pool party that just got planned this morning, so. And a boating party this week. So, summer is not over yet. We are gonna have the highest temperatures we've had in uh, over a month this week. And we're just gonna take summer out with a bang, I guess. We're finally getting summer back. The temperatures aren't that high, but it's just... Well, they're not that high, but they've been in the 60s, maybe 70 for like the last like three weeks or so. So, anyway, we finally get to go home and do nothing. Kids can get, go play and kind of hang out. All right, just got home. And despite the fact that I've got a whole counter full of groceries to unload, these girls want to open up their bags. That is headphones. Here, but we can open it. So Ashley has a bag. Box. A box. Yes. Mine. I we aren't sure whose comforter it is. So it's not a comforter. It's a duvet. So yeah, we don't know. Let's let's open this one first, okay? I got it. I got it. All right, you ready? Yes. <laughs> Which one is it? It's most likely mine. No, oh, it's another bag. <laughs> Why do they give us like oh, geez. mine? No, Ash. Mine. It's yeah. A cactus one. No, you don't know. Mine is a cactus, Ash. It's a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, let me see. It's mine. Let her see. Let her see it really quick, Ashley. Yes. Well, she, you gotta show everyone else. Open it. All right, so should we go put it on, Ashley? Yeah. All right, here's all the 
groceries that we got. But I also got these. I only got the fitted. Abby and I talked about it and we just thought the sheet, they just aren't going to use. So I got two of the fitted sheets for each bed. And then they're arguing about another package. <laughs> and then I just got two more white pillowcases. And we're going to go set up their bed right now. Also, these came in the mail. They're like $5 on Amazon. Yeah. I can't ever find them at Target. These ones are mine, and they also have like And that. they just had to have two of them for, they had to have one each for school, right? For Wait, the computer where, desks. Yeah, but where does the string, is it? It's inside there. So we got one for Ashley, right? Is there another one over there? Uh, yeah, it's a purple one. Here, okay. can I see? Oh yeah, so I, I just see. wanted to show you more up close this new palette that I got. Should we open it up, Chess? Yeah. Hanging All right, in hanging in Hawaii. And then look at the names on these ones. Hula, Sh Sh Shaka, Ohana, Ohana Tiki, Tiki, Maui, Maui. Okay. Waikiki, yeah. Sandy, Pineapple, Shaka, oh, we did that one, yeah. Hibiscus, Lei, Lo Coconut, uh, you're covering Loa. it up, Coconut, Mahalo, Luau, Aloha, Paradise, and Honolulu. Mm -hmm. And the, this one is, what one is my favorite one? I think it's this one. I'd say right this Right here. One. Should we swatch it on your finger, on your hand? Watch this. Isn't that so pretty? <laughs> yeah, it's just it's really my favorite. Bright. I was going for like some mobs or I don't know. But anyway, I'd say that I think one it's looks really cute. cute too, or that one. All right, Chelsea's kind of annoyed that hers isn't here yet, but we've got her sheets on it and one of the pillowcases. <laughs> and Ashley, you guys, look how stinking cute. The OCD in me kind of wants to iron it, but it'll be okay, I think, by the time we actually get the beds here. Do you love it? Yeah, you um, love. I don't really want to sleep under it. I know they, this is my kids. They're like, wait, where's my other blanket? What do I sleep on? <laughs> so they need to learn to sleep underneath this blanket. But mine is like a zip. It zips. No, it doesn't zip. That's just the end. Trust me. When you have a real bed, this is going to be easier to get in. <laughs> I know they're just so confused. <laughs> I don't know, but I love that it came with two shams. So I actually didn't need to buy that other pillowcase except for it's kind of see-through. So I put so I put the white pillowcase on this one so it wasn't quite so see-through. But that's going to be really cute when you get your new beds, huh? I'm tired. <laughs> She's tired. I'm going to let her rest. Doctor said just let you rest when you want to rest, right? You want me to turn a fan on? I can turn a fan on, okay? All right, we're gonna sign off for tonight. Unfortunately, Chelsea's bedspread didn't come today. It got pushed out till tomorrow. And hey, look at her bed. Just I know. So we have a white on white on white on white on white. It's the white party. It's a touch black. Touch of black. <laughs> it's a white and black party. It's a black black iPad party. All right, can you say good night? Tomorrow we'll show them the new bedspread, Chelsea. Tomorrow we'll show them the new bedspread. Yeah. And in a week we'll do a final reveal. Yeah. <laughs> right? Maybe in a week we'll have your shelf made. Should we do that? Yeah. What shelf? Should we make a new shelf? Oh, so let me tell them the details. Okay, you so, tell them. Basically up here. Oh, not on that side. On this one. Oh. Across here. <laughs> so up here me and Ashley are going to do like small little bits of like shelf like things. So like we're going to stain it this color and like make it like this. But with like a bottom coming out. And then we're gonna do that over here and set like a uh, C for me and then A for Ashley. And then we're gonna do like pictures of us and like cute pictures yep. of other stuff. And then mm -hmm. over here we're gonna do the same. But, but it'll be one long shelf, but you each have a side. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, like all the way across or do just all the way cut? across? Yeah, it'll go all the way across, and then you each kind of have your side on the shelf. Key. With maybe one key picture in the middle. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. So while we wait for the beds, we'll go ahead and make that shelf. Is that a good idea? I me about that. But Mom, Chelsea and I were talking about that plan. <laughs> yeah. Can um, I set up my bed? And where are we going to set those? Oh, yeah. You're, I mean, you're setting up your bed when you get a comforter. So you just use your blanket for tonight. Okay, can you take us out and say goodnight? Goodnight.